Hello, people. And uh, this is a continuation of my Colette's Conjecture set. I think uh, after all this time, I may have found the right approach. If you've watched all the stuff previously, you know that the only odd outputs of this function are 5 mod 6 and 1 mod 6. I'm going to work on the loop part in an algebraic way. So, this is naturals or positive integers, whichever you want to look at it. X is 0 to the positive infinity for this case. The negative infinity I, I, I did previously, all of this will still apply. But I want to look at it like this. There, there are several things that it's, but what we want to know is when this goes through this and it'll output to this, and when this goes through this process, it'll output to here. So we know this is an odd number, right? We know this is an odd number. So it, it can be n. So this whole thing is n. So now we need to make it 3n plus 1. Now we're going to divide by 2, and this is true of other one. Right? And we need to divide by 2. But this is only the odd, or only the even divisions by 2. It would be odd power to 2 if you're going the other way. But even divisions by 2. So this is 2 to the 2a. And this one is 3, that's n. These are, this is always mod 4, so I'm all right with that. Times 2a two, two plus 1, right? This is odd divisions by 2. So a goes from 0 to infinity. And we're doing the whole thing. I want to know when these two equal each other, right? So we'll start out. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Oops. Getting ahead of myself. All right, so this is either one works. This can be two different values of A, by the way. So. In fact, likely they're not the same value. It's going to be two different values, but I, I, it doesn't really matter. Because, oh man, I did it again. 2 to the 2a. Okay. Because here's the thing. Even if this is a different value, we can still use it. Because there's always going to be at least one more up top. Right? This is 2 to the 0, which is 1, which means this whole thing cancels. So we've always got at least one multiple of two, right? If these, the, these essentially should be equivalent statements. We'll put this one by that, we'll put this one by that. Blah, blah, right? It's not the same. There's lots of ways you can do it, but I'm going to keep going through. If we go over here, we do the same thing. Now I want to make sure that this, there is no integer that's where odd divided by two equals another integer or natural number, no whole number. And in, if this one is larger than this one, then it's two times an odd number. Same thing over here. Even if this one's larger, it's still an odd number divided by, right, we've canceled out all these. It's an odd number divided by two, or two times an odd number. Only evens can satisfy this. No odd number can. And since every 3n plus one Right, where odd is, where n is an odd number is the same as four divided four mod six. Right, three times an odd number plus one, it's the same as four mod six from the previous one. Then that's always going to be true. The only numbers that will satisfy that equation or that set where this one that has a different division by two plopped back in to make this, even if you leave the extended thing, you don't even have to put it out. It's going to be some power of two that's either greater on bottom or top. 
the only integer that satisfies that, since there's only those two odd outputs, those are the only ones that matter. And there's all, in order for them to go, it's not going to spread. It's always going to be an even number that satisfies that. It's either going to be this is gone and there's an extra two up above, which is two times an odd number. That's an even number. Or it's going to be an odd number divided by two, which is a non-integer. So it can only be an even number. Which in this case, three times an even number plus one is one mod six. Right? So n, whether, n can only be even here. Right? Or n can be odd to make an even. But it, only even numbers will satisfy. No odd number will satisfy the continuous loop. No odd number will satisfy the continuous loop. The only one that can is when a equals zero and this equals zero. The zeros are pretty easy. Zeros are pretty easy to get here. Three times zero plus one is zero. Three times zero plus one is one, two. Zero plus one is one, times three is three, plus two is five. Plugged into here. Five times three is 16. It's an even number. So the zeros are always easy to find, but only even numbers. Only even numbers can satisfy this whole thing. It, where it'll be equivalent. That's what it takes to be a loop, where there's some value that you put back in and it'll put this next value or the same value, right? Where it loops to the same. And there would actually be an infinite number of them because it would be any two to some power would also get that. So any number that ever gets there, any other even number that would generate an odd would be an infinite set. Only even satisfy this. Doesn't matter which way you go. It's either two times something equals, right, equals an odd. If, if you do it this way, where you, you multiply by here and you cancel it out, these are gone. So this two times an odd number equals an odd number. Never happens. Or an odd number divided by two equals an odd number. That can't happen. An odd number divided by two is never an integer. It's a rational. It's a rational number. So by the limits of the domain and the requirements of the algorithm, only even numbers will satisfy this. Two times an even number equals an even number. So the odd numbers can never loop in any of the positive integers or natural numbers, whichever one includes zero. I forget which one's which, any, or if they've changed since I took classes. But whichever one is essentially the positive integers, including zero. the positive numbers, include positive whole numbers, including zero, or that's be positive integers or the natural numbers. I forget with. I shouldn't say I forget. I've looked it up a couple times, different places. To, some people say the natural numbers don't include zero. Some people say they do. I'm just telling you whichever one of these includes zero. Because zero up here, zero, zero matters for x up in here. It still yields a positive value. So, yeah. for Across that domain, for any value of n and any value of a, only even numbers can satisfy the forever loop. It can all, they're the only ones that where the input and outputs can coincide. Otherwise, an odd number is going to stop. It's not going to satisfy all components of it. And I... Might seem really simple. That's taken me a while to get to. <laughs> it's all, I guess one of the best compliments is if after all that work, I make it seem easy. But because we know that those are the only two outputs, this probably could have been done, but you know, there, there's the option. They're saying, hey, maybe there's value, but that can't happen. Only the evens can satisfy that. So this is going into my revision for my new submission into the American Mathematical Society. Um, I'm going to try and get as many proofreaders on it beforehand as I can. So anyone out there who's watching this who does know a little bit about it, if you can, tell me why I screwed up. I don't think people understand that that's the beauty of peer review. 
every time a scientist publishes a paper, they're in the world championships. They say, hey, world, can you prove me wrong? And I don't just want anybody. I want the best. I want the brightest and smartest people. I want the best capability to come at me. Tell me where I'm wrong, because I'll fix it. So, for all of you who are talking about, or are used to stuff like MMA and fights, every single time you publish as a scientist is a world championship. And everybody's invited to try and win. Or try and beat, beat you when you submit. One of the beauties of the peer review and scientific paper, there's a... There's an elite level, and every time you publish, you're asking all of them to try and beat you every single time. And any newcomers. But, so, Eva's can only satisfy, odds don't. And there we go. Thanks. Not going to do my usual. This is different. You guys, go ahead, take this video. Watch it twice. Be mindful of side effects. Comment as much as you like. Remember to like and subscribe. This has been your dose of Drew. I am said Drew. You guys have a great rest of your night.